Over 3,000 job seekers showed up at the job fair at the Blaisdell in January. With unemployment levels down in Hawaii, it turns out this is a great time for people to look for better jobs and opportunities. This is our first job fair for 2014. We have 161 people, employers here today, so we think that's a pretty good number. The other thing we like is the quality of the crowd is good. We have a number of companies that are brand new. We love to see new exhibitors, means new jobs, new growth. Rengo Packaging is here, Kualoa Ranch. Uh, one of the things we like about that is jobs that aren't just in Honolulu. Those are some jobs that are out in other parts of the island and different kinds of jobs. And Hart is here for the first time. Um, Cam Security is here for the first time. So lots of new people. We've been doing this for a lot of years, so we've seen unemployment go up and then come back down to 3%, which is considered full employment, and we're at 3.8 on Oahu. So you can tell that it's going to get harder and harder for employers to find good quality candidates. So we're going to start seeing more employers at the fair, and they're going to have to look a little harder. But we're also going to see job seekers or employees who've had jobs that they maybe not super happy with, held on through the recession because they weren't sure if they could get another job. Now they're free to look. They can make a change. I think um, training is the, going to be huge for job seekers. And I don't, you know, it used to be that um, you immediately needed to go back to school. And, you know, like you're going to get a degree. I don't think that that's necessarily going to be true in the future. And in our Pukaki room today, we have the community colleges. There are many places that you can go and just improve your computer skills or your um, uh, accounting skills or business skills or something else that makes you a little more valuable. And the other thing would be learn a language. We have a lot of people that want uh, bilingual, especially the airlines. They need bilingual flight attendants and they're having a lot of trouble finding them. Our next job fair is going to be in May, and what we really want people to know is that it's not just a job fair. When we started doing these, we were solely a job fair. You came here to get a job, but now we really are more of a career exposition. We have briefings throughout the day where employers can talk about what they're looking forward to hire in the coming year, how many flight attendant classes, how many nursing classes, how many nurses are they going to take, that type of information, that's just invaluable stuff to have. You can get a free LinkedIn headshot here. You can look at all the different training programs that we have, and you can meet with all of the companies and talk about what kind of skills they're looking for and what the best way is to connect with them to get the job that you want. Our company started as a recruitment advertising agency, and we uh, probably 99% of our business was in print advertising. We would do help wanted ads in the paper. But as everybody knows, that's just changed. And now we do almost total online marketing and job fairs is another big you know, source of our business. But LinkedIn, career builder, those type of things. And LinkedIn in particular, I think, is where recruitment is headed. Instead of people recruiting, they're going to be sourcing. Instead of posting an ad and getting hundreds and thousands of responses that they have to go through, they're going to be going in profiles and picking the people that have the skills that they need.